hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to see how actually we can save our file in a proper format in azure data factory so generally you will see whenever you are performing any copy data activity and whenever you are trying to save your file into a, any location you will see your file is getting saved as a name part x 00 something something name you will see like part file as a name it gets saved but my requirement is like i want to save my file in a proper format suppose i have to perform any copy data activity and if i am running the pipeline on a specific date then the file which is getting copied that should be saved in a proper format proper date format i want to save because that will be easy for me to recognize the file so if the file is contain the 2024-0401 then i will get to know like this particular file contain the april 1 data so it's very important to save your file in a proper format so that it will be easy for the data analytics people to do analysis based on this date format also so in this video what we are going to do we are going to perform one copy data activity that will copy a data from a blob storage one container to another container but the file will get saved into a proper naming convention and also file will get saved in a json format so that is my requirement so let's do a practical and let's understand what actually i have done so i have one uh, storage account in this storage account i have one file if i will show you employee one dot csv okay if i will show you uh, the file looks like this now what actually i want to do i want to store into another output container as of now there is no file available in output file i want to store into a time format how actually i can do in the data factory we, go, we are going to see so first you have to go to this uh, azure data factory go to the pipeline click on the new pipeline we are performing a copy activity so i will move that go to the source we are going to create a new data set so i will click on the azure blob storage our file is in csv format so i will select that click on the continue we are going to create one link service so that we can connect to our blob storage so i will select the subscription i will select my storage account name and i will click on the create okay it is uh, creating now it is uh, completed now what we have to do go, we have to select our file path so what is our file path file path is nothing it is in input folder so click on the ok and first row is order click on the ok now our file is ready okay the data set name is uh, delimited text 2 that we have to remember now we have to go to the sync we have to create a blob storage because we want to store into a blob storage so i will create one uh, link uh, distinct data set we want to store into a json so i select the json uh, i will select the same link service okay because i want to store into the same path here where actually you want to store we want to store into the output so i will select that okay click on the ok now this is the sync data set is json2 so we will go to the json or here itself if we we'll click on the open right now if we will go into the file file name right click on the add dynamic content now if you we'll see here right parameter and the function if you we'll go to the function you will get to see different kind of the function so we are going to store in the form of the date so what actually we will do we will select here so we have a utc time zone if you we'll click here it will get store your file name as a utc time zone okay now if you will see you have a different different function like add to time add days add hours add minutes so anything based on the your requirement you can select that convert time zone if you want to convert the time zone from a utc to the indian time zone or any time zone that actually you can do or you want to convert into a utc that also you can do day of month day of week day of year also you can do so what we are going to do we are going to convert time zone now what we have to uh, write so this is the this is the one we have to use so what we are doing convert time zone utc and we are converting into indian standard time so this i will uh, mention into the description convert time zone utc and indian time zone we have to do click on the ok ok so this is the time zone where actually we want to store ok even if you want to mention any kind of the string also that also you can do now go to the pipeline now click on the publish publish now we will try to run and we will see whether it is converting properly or not 
whether our file is getting saved properly or not so it is publishing when it will complete we will see now it is publishing we will wait it to be completed and then we will try to trigger it uh, whenever we will trigger right uh, the file should be saved into a indian standard time zone okay it is complete add trigger trigger now now it is completed we'll go to the output folder so this is output i will click on the refresh now you can see this is the 3rd of july you can see 3rd of july and 11:40 11:40 so this is proper in got converted into the indian time zone right now if i will open this uh, i think it should be a it should be a same file because we have performed copy activity in a json format okay so that is how actually it works i hope you got it yeah thanks that's it in this video